Dan, when you um, go to the Nebraska game, I mean, were you, how critical were you of the guys that he did? Were you kind of just tiptoeing around some things, or did you really go after him? What you um, I didn't really necessarily go after him. I think it was just more of, um, you know, it was a total team collective effort on um, just what what we don't want to do, you know. And I just thought, I thought Nebraska did a really good job of forcing the issue from the start. And um, we just never were able to get in the flow or rhythm of the game. And so, um, you know, there was a lot to, to kind of dissect and point out. And I guess, I don't know if it's good, but the good part is that it was everybody. It wasn't like it was just one exclusive thing. So for me, it's more of, um, you know, just a team. We got to change as a team from what we did last game, mentality-wise. And your leadership is obviously big in this situation where you're facing this much adversity, not just from that game, but just with the way the season's going. Have you noticed certain guys just taking upon themselves to try to, you know, rally the, the group? Or um, I don't know if anybody's taking it upon themselves, like just individual. I mean, everybody wants to win. Um, you know, guys have voiced that. Um, at different times, it's kind of been, you know, different guys, whether it's a timeout or post game or halftime. Um, no, I don't question that at all. That, that the guys want to win. I mean, that's not the effort, all that. Um, it's just more about the, just the details that go into winning that we have to get much better at, um, probably in the last game and a half, I'd say. Um, I don't know if it's confidence with with that part. I think some of it is more confidence of, um, you know, within each game there's a different game plan. And within each game the defense is going to guard stuff a certain way. I think people have guarded us a little bit different every game. And so it's the challenge of being confident whatever defense is thrown at you, we're going to find a way to be successful offensively. And not letting, you know, a poor shooting night – or if we're struggling as a team offensively, impact our effort and what we do detail-wise defensively. Um, I think because we got an older group, um, I think they understand that, that the, the, the win-loss part um, in terms of – I don't think that rattles their confidence because I think they're, they know, you know, for the most part, they've been there. I think it's more of, you know, you can't get your constant confidence taken not from the wins and losses but from the style of the game or getting into a flow of the game or getting a rhythm offensively in the game or you know understand defensively what needs to happen um i guess i'm probably more more worried about that piece um than than anything don't, don't let one side affect the other that's like one of the most tried and true coaching points in the game yeah yeah because it's so I mean, it's so easy to do like we you know I remember as a player, man, you can, you coach can say it till they're blue in the face, but the reality is as a player offensively, you see the ball go in the basket, or if you make a good play offensively, that's going to energize you defensively. Um, you know, you could be the, the greatest offense defensive team in the country. Like I just, it just, it's human nature, you know, that it affects it. And so now you're just battling um, that part of it and you're battling, you know, you got to stay in a rhythm when stuff's not going well for you offensively or teams making adjustments of how they're guarding you, they can't frustrate you on the defensive end. Um, Cause you got to try to be able to at least rely on your, on your defense. You played Penn State now two out of three games. I know just the way the schedule ended up, but yeah. how, what's the, the challenge there? And then um, what do you see from them? Um, you know, they're a good team. They, uh, you know, Mike has done a really good job, um, kind of similar to how we play in a lot of aspects. I think, um, you know, this week coming up is going to be challenging. Um, you know, when you look at, you know, you play play tomorrow and, and then you got, you know, really, what, three games in five days, I think it is something like that, with travel in between. So, um, you know, figuring out, I guess, the good part is because you play them twice. The second time you play them, it's not – you know, it's not a huge prep. You know, they've only played maybe one game in between, if that. Um, so I think now it's just more of, um, you know, understand their personnel. I think they, they've got the ability. they got a lot of versatile pieces. Um, they got a lot of guys that individually 
can put points on the board and cre create offense with ISO play, but then they also run good stuff. And um, so for us, you know, it's, it's being able to, you know, you obviously got to guard one-on-one. -on -one. You got to have pretty good help. Um, but they're a team now that I think is, is, is kind of clicking offensively, and they do a good job. Have I talked to Micah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we talked, um, you know, and, and I think, uh, you know, the common thread is, is being able to, you know, build and grow, you know, kind of the right way and to, to play an exciting style of basketball, to play, you know, something that players want to play in, that fans want to watch, um, but that also leads to winning and teaches kids how to play the game. Um, and I think when you look at them on film, it's like I said, especially offensively, there is you know probably more similarities between our two teams and than other teams in the league. Some of that is personnel. You know, they're not afraid to go a little bit smaller. Um, you know, one through four and kind of play four guards almost, especially now. Um, but you know, Mike is going to do it the right way. You know, he's he's going to build it. He's going to recruit with you know skilled players that have high IQ. Um, so. You know, it'll be a challenge from here on out as long as as long as he's there. That's for sure. When you get assistant coaches that are hired at high major level, it doesn't happen all the time. But mm. you know, for your program and you get it to that base with you guys, that says a lot. Yeah, no, it definitely does. Um, you know, it's kind of I know I'm the kind of the outlier in terms of you know you don't see it very often, especially for you know like you said for your first job. Um, Micah maybe a little bit different because he was in the NBA, um, but. You know, it is is uh, it's rare. Normally, there's there's you know a couple of steps in between. You make the jump. Um, so we definitely talked about that. You know, we're both kind of going through the same thing at the same time as as head coaches, but also head coaches that you know you're making your first jump at the highest level in the best conference in the country. Um, there's a lot that goes in with that. So it's it's nice to have somebody that um, you know you can bounce ideas off of and, and they, they literally understand what you're going through because they're going through the same thing every single day that you are. So, um, you know, that's been, that's been helpful. Has uh, Luke found his footing a little bit more, do you think, last few weeks, just in the offense? Yeah, um, I think he's, you know, he, he, a lot of the shots he's taken, I think, are kind of the same that he's taken all year. He's just, he's relaxed and he's shooting the ball and he's not putting pressure on himself to be perfect. Um, he's not really worrying about it. So, um, you know, those shots now are going in, which which is 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 huge. I mean, it's something we've been talking with him all year about. Um, you know, it's hard enough. You don't want to guard yourself in terms of just getting in your own head. And um, you know, it's always good, obviously, to get a couple to fall early and ha kind of help build that confidence. But I think he's in a good flow right now. I think he understands. Uh, within what we're doing, how he's going to get his shots, um, how that's going to look. And, and I think now he does have confidence that when, when he shoots it, it just got a good chance going in. Did you guys talk to him about that a little bit, um, just to relax a little bit? Yeah, I did. Um, it was two games ago. Um, I just told him, like, you know, you got to go back to when you were like a kid at the park. You know, you're not thinking and overanalyzing when you're at the park just playing. You're just playing. And – Coincidentally, because your mind is not fixated on every shot, um, you know it balls. You know you go it go in, and and I think um, you know it's the same game. Obviously, we're at a different level than at the park, but it's got to be the same mentality of um, you know I can't overanalyze everything I do. If I take good shots and have a good shot prep, you got to live with the results. Thanks, coach. All right, thank you. Yep, yep.